In Atlanta, on the Georgia Tech campus, robot musicians are at the heart of Gil Weinberg's research. Shimmy, do you have something happy? Very happy. In his lab, he and his team are trying to develop robots able not only to faithfully recreate songs, but also to show creativity and improvise. I'm Gil Weinberg. And I look for robots to inspire me musically. If I can create an algorithm that creates new music that is meaningful for people, this is creative. For me, it was very interesting to get to the core of understanding uh, the musical creation and musical creativity aspect, is to program this algorithm into a body. I think robots is a great way to explore what the music creation aspect is about, because uh, it has a digital brain and it has a, the body that can provide the visual cues, the acoustic sound, and what we call embodiment, the understanding that you have a body uh, in which you can create music and bodies that other musicians will respond to. In our case, we have a robot that has eight arms. It knows it has eight arms. It knows that if he wants to play something really, really fast uh, on one side, not all eight arms can come there together. They, they will collide with each other. So we have to come up with ideas that actually it can play to come up with something that is not only beautiful, but also doable uh, physically. on Shimon for eight years now. Shimon can decide what's interesting for him. And if it's interesting, it will look at you. It will maybe even squint at you. Uh, it will try to nod with approval. And just playing with that uh, robot tells you, good job. It's a weird and interesting and fun uh, experience. Even though I programmed it and I put the numbers and I know exactly how much percentage of each musical element, suddenly something came back that was awesome, that was beautiful. Um, you know, the, the idea is that it will send shivers down your spine or, I don't know, make you cry or... Because if you do that, you know that you created something good. So I didn't cry yet, but there was moments that, that really were interesting for me and we're trying to make these moments coming again and again. I'm not building robots in order to, to Im imitate humans or to replace humans, you know. I, I've been asked that too. Are you going to replace musicians? You're evil. So, so I, I don't think we can if, 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 in, if we wanted to, but this is not my goal. My goal regarding soul and sensibility is for these machines, because they are so sophisticated, brain-wise and body-wise, to bring something new for me, to make me think about music differently, to make me play differently, and me re respond to them in a way that I would never respond to humans. And if I did that, I, I will have a check mark, uh, and maybe then I will start to think about soul in them. But uh, I'm, I'm not there yet. Uh, it's too big for me at this point. Georgia Tech researchers are also exploring another avenue, the augmented musician. Gil Weinberg's team have developed a bionic prosthesis for Jason Barnes, a young drummer who had his right arm amputated. This bionic arm is controlled by Jason's muscle impulses and helps him recover the subtle movements of a drummer without disabilities. What's more, he's equipped with two smart drumsticks which can be controlled or work autonomously. 20 hertz. That's great, let's do it. So one stick is playing 20 hertz, 20 times a second, really, really fast. You can create rhythms based on your body gestures 
that are over the sophisticated rhythm and humanly impossible rhythms that the arm creates. And that again was a very unique experience. Now we're traveling with Jason and we're performing with him. Uh, you know, we just came back from Australia. The, the headline in the newspaper was, the fastest drummer in the world arrived uh, to Australia. He was a limited drummer. Now he can do things that no other drummer can do. I'm very interested in, in the future of augmented humanity. Uh, some people call it transhumans. Uh, when technology and humans really evolve together and become the same, and from anything for people with disabilities that could not play otherwise, but can think about amazing ideas, have the machine being part of the body, help them express their creativity, to people who are great musicians, but this kind of uh, embedded wearable devices, maybe even implantable in, in the future, I don't know, uh, can actually uh, uh, enhance their, their creativity. To go even further, the team is testing for the first time a revolutionary smart arm prototype controlled by thought, thanks to an EEG headset that reads brainwaves. Musicians are entering a new era, one of brain-machine interfaces. What happened, Chris? You look strange. Like, <laughs> like the six dollar man. <laughs> it's more than that. How is it? Okay. I think the future of music would be humans and machines together creating things that neither humans or machines can create by themselves. The machines can be separate, but I think it's even more interesting if the machines are embedded to your body, that you can interact with the machines to create new music. Mm -hmm.